In this installment, we will cover the Electromotive Advanced Parameters page. The Advanced Parameters page is generally used when initially setting up your program. In this video, we will cover the various adjustments in the Advanced Parameters page and when they would be used. The TAC setup is used to adjust the amount of pulses per revolution the TAC output produces. Generally, the default setting will be adequate, but in some cases, such as V8 engines that use dual distributors like Ferraris, may require the TAC output to be set up as a four-cylinder TAC instead of an eight-cylinder TAC as the default setting would be. As you can see in this eight-cylinder program, we have the TAC output set to four pulses. This is normal for an eight-cylinder engine, but for a Ferrari, the output should be changed to two pulses. Also, the TAC output allows you to adjust the output to accommodate a TAC that may not have been designed for use with your engine. For example, if you have a four-cylinder engine, yet you're trying to use an eight-cylinder TAC, you can change the output pulses from two to four in your four-cylinder program and use the eight-cylinder TAC. The next setting is invert TAC output. The TAC output is a 12 volt square wave pattern, which means that it produces a 12 volt and then a ground and then a 12 volt and then a ground as a signal. Inverting the output changes the polarity so that when it would normally produce a voltage signal, it would produce a ground signal and vice versa. Some tachometers benefit from an inverted TAC output. If when you have your unit connected and running, the tachometer works but seems to fall out at a particular RPM. Try the inverted tach output to see if that resolves the problem. The next option is the sensor type. The electromotive systems can use either a magnetic or Hall effect sensor for their crank input. Make sure this field is set to the type of sensor that you're using. Cam sensors should be Hall effect and cannot be adjusted. The next option is TDC setup. The TDC setup is used to adjust the tooth offset of your crank trigger wheel. By default, Electromotive uses the 11th tooth after the missing tooth section on your trigger wheel as its TDC reference. Some engines may require you to change this value. An example would be if you're using a factory trigger wheel and sensor. Not all manufacturers use the trailing edge of the 11th tooth as their TDC reference. It's important to figure out what tooth they're using and adjust the TDC setup accordingly. The second trigger wheel TDC offset is only used on odd fire engines. The mechanical offset value is used to correct discrepancies between the TDC setup and offset in the trigger wheel that may be there due to a slight misalignment of the trigger wheel or an intentional misalignment of the trigger wheel. For example, if your TDC setup is on 11, but during installation you may have ended up on the leading edge of the 12th tooth, this would create a 3 degree advance and would need to be compensated for so that your ignition advance values in your ignition advance table are correct. If you're three degrees advanced on your trigger wheel, you would enter a value of three in your mechanical offset. If during the installation you ended up on the leading edge of the 11th tooth, your ignition advance would be retarded by three degrees. In this case, you would enter a minus three. The best way to determine what, if any, mechanical advance or retard exists in the engine would be to leave the mechanical offset at zero, start the engine, and with a timing light compare the actual timing of the engine to the programmed timing in your advance table. That difference can then be entered into the mechanical offset to compensate. Now your tables will read actual advance. 